What are some of the worst things government inflicted on disabled people? Paul Spooner, Boston, Massachusetts. I'd answer it two ways. There's a historical system way, which is that disabled people were um, shut off in institutions, out of sight, out of mind. You know, we didn't, we didn't have to look at them, and they were sent off to big old institutions out in the country, and Mass Hospital School is one of those, um, where they were self-sufficient, and kids stayed there and didn't go home, and that's where they ended up. Um, personally, for me to be placed in the institution generated a lot of anger towards my parents, but the, the draconian types of controls institutions have, I'll give you a case in point. In September of 1972, I was placed in Mass Hospital School. I had long hair there. I was, all the new entries would come into the hospital section. The head nurse didn't like long hair. So within two hours of being there, okay, my parents dropped me off. I'm there. Three orderlies hold me down and cut my hair off. Okay, there was no reason for that. There's no reason for government to treat adolescents like that. That was, you know, what was the problem? But that's what you face on a personal level when you're institutionalized. You're told when to get up, when you can do stuff, when you can be in the building, what you're going to eat, basically what you're going to do every minute that you're awake. You're told when to sleep, and, you know, you're a prisoner. And it's legal to do that. And I didn't commit a crime. I happened to grow up with a disability. But I was treated as basically a prisoner, you know, because I was placed in an institution. And that both on a personal level and a historical level is what's really wrong about what goes on. And it still goes on today. We just use, we've replaced big institutions with nursing homes. You know, and if someone has a disability, chances are if the family can't take care of them or they can't live in the community on their own with supports, they're going to end up in a nursing home. And that's a jail. And that's not fair. And that's not right. And that's why I've been working in the field for the last 30 plus years. Because it's not right to treat people like this. And so hopefully I make a change, but it's sometimes to see that in a positive way.